Now, your weather alert forecast. Good evening, I'm 3 News Now Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin with this latest weather update for 3newsnow.com. Our severe storm threat continues to go up and will continue into the late evening hours. This is the area, the enhanced area. That's where the threat's going to be highest. Potential we could see large hail, gusty winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. Can't rule out an isolated tornado, but again, I don't think that's going to be the main concern for us. All of this development is along a cold front that's moving into the area, and it's certainly going to provide us with some significant uh, concerns here as as we go into the late evening hours. You'll watch this front passing through. We get to about uh, seven o'clock in the evening. Shower storms continue to break out about eight, nine o'clock. Stuff starts moving into the Omaha metro area, and that's when I think we could see the most intense line of storms breaking out between Carroll, Denison, just to the north of Omaha, between Fremont and even York. This thing passes through pretty quickly. We get to about 10 to 11 o'clock in the evening. May still have a couple of storms developing or holding together between Red Oak, Clorinda, and even Atlantic, but some drier cooler air starts moving in on the back side of the storm system and our winds begin shifting from the northwest as we start off your Wednesday morning very comfortable lower humidity and we're looking at much lighter winds upper 50s low 60s so not a bad start to the day in the afternoon low to mid and even upper 70s so we definitely cool things off a little lower humidity may see a few clouds passing through late in the day and a fairly decent wind blowing out of the northwest about 10 to 20 miles an hour but that will push in some cooler temperatures here and they'll stick around here for a couple of days 77 for your Wednesday less wind on Thursday so that's my pick of the week we get into Friday and we're still looking at 75 degrees but there could be some hit and miss showers from time to time and we'll have to wait and see how that impacts the high school football games in the evening breezy day for us even as we head into Saturday now again Overall timing on the showers popping up from time to time on Saturday is still a big question mark. Looks like the morning and possibly even into the afternoon and evening. Hopefully it doesn't impact the Huskers game. Kick off at 630, but it will be a cool one. 71 degrees. The wind really cranks up here Sunday and Monday, and we're looking at still chances for some showers. Kind of hit and miss activity going into the early part of next week.